an outbound way. Surely there must be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. It feels strange to talk to an Outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to rent words of truth from the mouth of an Outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the Incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the Incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the Incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala, Outlander. Listen well to what the failed Incarnates have to say. Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled, and I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. The Nerevarin must listen as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerevar. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashlanders who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found wanting. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. Once I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Vardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian.
Your instincts served you well. Turtle's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. Then go. Return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. the moon and star. You've returned. The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Chodal is in there too, about to be named the Nereverin. Tell me you came back with something to stop my brother's rise to power. Ah, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodal's arguments. That's brilliant. Well, except for one problem. An Outlander has no status in the Council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. Someone they trust. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. With your help, of course. Meet me inside. Must we continue this farce? It's obvious that I'm the Nerevarian. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision. Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the Nerevarine. Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. 
Give me the scroll that discounts such a trait for the Nerevarine. Of course. Let's see what happens. This doesn't look right. Saren, the Outlander's lies have no place in this debate. Time to pick the correct scroll. That makes sense. I'll try that. I don't think this will work. Must we continue to tolerate this travesty? Be careful. We need to get these right. Yes, that's a sound argument. Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashkar, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The Faithless Houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. Which scroll do you recommend to counter this argument? Of course. Let's see what happens. No, that's not correct. Sister, your confusion just confirms my... That's not right. Try another scroll. That makes sense. I'll try that. Incarnate, appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing! I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarine. I think it's working. One more strong assertion, and that should do it. Of course. Let's see what happens. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Nerevarian. Saren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerevarian. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerevarian! Red Exiles, slay Brother, the unbelievers! No! <gasps>
to my hut and get my healer's sack. Now. Right away, wise one. I hate what my brother's become. <gasps> Mortal, I, I would have words, words with you. Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. As long as he wields the staff, he shall be unstoppable. Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As much as I deplore him, Vivek cannot fall to Chodala's vile magic. There's another power at work here. One I can't quite put my finger on. Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek. And pay heed to my faithful vessel, Saren. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. She will play a pivotal role in ending her brother's march toward godhood, if she survives. That was... exhilarating. That was... glorious. Lady Azura's presence filled me with such... wonder. She actually spoke through me. I heard everything she said, and I felt her sense of urgency. You need to return to Vivek City immediately. And help you I shall. Return to Vivek City, while I track down my brother and his damnable staff. With the Ashlanders against him, he won't have many options. After I locate him, I'll meet you, and we can find a way to break through Chodala's defenses. The priests seem nervous today. Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the Arch Cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky. At least for now. So what? How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. 
Every strike and parry takes us one step closer. As a god weakens, so too does his city. How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool due to Lord Ledeck's condition. It falls upon us to find a solution. Vivek must conserve his remaining energy, so we need to solve this problem on our own. It all comes back to Chodala. That damned Ashland is draining the warrior poet's power. How should I know? That's not a skill the tribunal teaches. Return to Barrowzar's tower and get Sothisil's former apprentice to come up with some kind of countermeasure. I'm sure he knows more than he's told you. You see right through me, Outlander. I have more worries than a Kwama Queen has eggs. I'm talking about Chodala's sister. Saren claims to want to help, to want peace, but I don't trust her. Seek out Berylzar, but be wary of the Ashlander's sister. We need to stop Chodala, and to do that, we need to find a way to overcome the device he's wielding. Find Barrowzar and make sure that crazy mage provides you with something we can use to save Lord Vivek. Is the bull sure it can bed the Betty? No. But by all accounts, we'll be better off with Sunara in our hands and away from Chotala. That won't be possible, however, as long as the Ashlander remains impervious to every attack. The female Ashlander? Well... <laughs> If that wasn't enough of a reason, remember that she's also Chodala's sister. Blood sings to blood, as the warrior poet so elegantly put it. Be wary. Vivette loves this land, and the land.